size of your letters, the spacing between words, and the shape of your letters all signify different characteristics of your personality. In fact, there is a whole science behind the study and analysis of handwriting known as graphology and it has been around since the days of Aristotle. Today, graphology is used for a number of purposes from criminal investigations to understanding a patient's health. Madam Postmaster, fellow Postmasters and our distinguished guests tonight, let us find out what your handwriting says about you. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to look at is the size of your letters. If you use large size letters, that means you want to be noticed. It means you're people oriented, you're extroverted. On the other hand, if you use small size letters, that indicates you're an introvert and also that you have good concentration and focus skills. Next, we're going to look at which way your handwriting slants. If there's no slant present in your handwriting, that means you are you ruled by logic and not by emotion, and that you're very pragmatic. On the other hand, if there's a right slant present in your handwriting, that means you are more sentimental, friendly, and you value friends and family highly. Finally, if there's a left slant present in your handwriting, that indicates that you <coughs> like to work with things over people. So you are more reserved and that also you are a little bit self-centered. Next we can look at the pen pressure, how much, how much pressure you apply while writing. If you use heavy pressure, that means you have strong emotions and that you are quick to react. On the other hand, if you use light pressure, that means you are more easy going. You do not invest a lot of emotion into things and therefore you don't wear yourself out emotionally. Next we look at some upper zoom letters, mainly the letter L and the letter T. So if you have a loop inside your L, that means you have big hopes and means for the future. On the other hand, if you retrace the L without any loop, that indicates perhaps your hopes and ambitions have been stressed. So maybe you wanted to become a doctor, but your parents sent you to engineering school and now you're a miserable engineer, or maybe vice versa. Next is the letter T. If there is a loop present in the letter T, that means you are sensitive to criticism. You do not like people pointing out your mistakes. On the other hand, if you retrace the T without any loop, that means you are a good worker, disciplined, and you have self-control. Next, we look at the lower zone letters, mainly the letter 1. And we are going to look at the loop as well as the length of the T. So, if there is a small loop present in the letter Y, that means you are very picky. And choosing friends. You have a small friend circle. On the other hand, if there is a large loop present in your letter Y, that means you, are, you make friends easily and therefore you have a large friend circle, large social network. <coughs> Similarly, if you have a long tail under the Y, that means you love to travel. On the other hand, if there is a short tail present under the letter Y, you prefer to stay at home. How many travelers in the room? Nobody. There is a couple of them. Next, we look at the line spacing, how much spacing there is. So, if there is very little spacing between the lines, it means you have poor time management. On the other hand, if you have evenly spaced out lines in your handwriting, that means you are aware of your boundaries. Next is very interesting, how you dot your eye. If you use a circle over the eye, that means you are childlike, you are playful, you are artistic. On the other hand, if you use a solid dot, it means you are organized, you don't like clutter and that you pay great attention to detail. Next, we look at how do you cross your T's. So, if you cross your T high on the ascender, that means you have high goals and high self-esteem. On the other hand, if you cross your T lower down on the ascender, that means you have some insecurities that prevent you from aiming high in life. Finally, we are going to look at the connection of letters if you do not connect your letters, that means you are logical, methodical and you make decisions carefully. On the other hand, if you connect your letters, that means you are intelligent and intuitive. And to finish things 
Talk. If you want to learn more about this exciting field, you can visit the Business Insider website <coughs> from where I got this idea from. And then the source is Kathy McKnight. She is a certified master reformist. <laughs> Learning something new about yourself, about your friends, about the people around you. It's always interesting and fun, isn't it? The next time you get your hands on a piece of handwriting, take some time off to apply some of these techniques that you learned today. You'll be surprised by just how much you can gather about the person's personality. Graphology is not 100% accurate. However, it is still quite effective because while you can fake your personality, you cannot Photoshop your handwriting. Over to the Toastmaster.